In the words of the great Hannibal Lecter, I love it when a plan comes together. Welcome to 5K Ranch. My name is Chase and today we are building some chicken feeders. We've always had problems with our chicken feeders, um, just getting pooped in, rained on, and just the uh, wasting a lot of food, like being dragged out, dirt thrown in, rain being rained on, and just getting all nasty. And so we came up with a new solution. We are building these, um, these feeders and they solve all those problems. All right guys, so to make this chicken feeder, you, what we have here is a three inch PVC pipe, it's cut two foot long. We got some 90, 90, 45s, and then just some caps and clean outs. Um, but it's pretty simple to make this. Um, it's probably one of the easiest projects we've ever done here. Um, and we are doing this because we do a couple different reasons. One, um, to keep the food from just sc being scattered everywhere. Two, to keep the rain off of the feed um, so we can fill it up without the rain getting in it and making it, the feed all nasty. And two, to keep the rodents out. So it's pretty easy and cheap, so y'all should make this. Anyway. All right, so first what you wanna do, you're gonna take a piece of the 90 and the, your pipe and it just goes together. I mean, it's real hard, guys. I mean, and then you just, I mean, it's just a simple puzzle. You put it together, and this is a cap to keep the rain off. Right here, it helps keep the rain off. And this, at night, we'll put in here just to help keep the rodents out. And that's it, it's real hard, guys. So guys, you might be wondering, why don't we just glue this together, make it a lot more stronger, and stuff like that, but these, I mean, this is together pretty well. And if we ever wanted to clean it, it without gluing it, you can just take it all apart, clean the inside. Um, so that way we can just keep it clean. So guys, I just wanna show you why we are making these feeders. One, so all these little chicks can eat. But, um, so if you look here, these feeders, Rain can get inside, and so it, after a while, if it, if it rains, all that feed in there is just nasty. And the chicks and chickens get in it and poop in it and rub dirt in it, and it's just nasty. And as you can tell, look at all this feed around it. It's just wasteful. And so, I mean, like, even in there, we have some feeder in there. It just, it's nasty and super wasteful. Guys, we have, we found something better than duct tape. Here on the farm, these zip ties are lifesavers. Hey girls, you got your feeders done? Again, guys, I keep saying this, it's super easy. And it's pretty cheap too. And you just put the feed up here and you can fill all this up with feed. And so you can go camping or on vacation and it'll be full of feed. Um, and we just have this for at night to keep the predators or rodents out. Um, yep, yeah, just comes right here and they eat. 
Now it's time to test it. So I'm gonna take these caps off and I'm gonna try if I can get the girls. Um, we'll see if I can get the girls over here and see if they'll eat out of the feeders to show y'all. In the words of the great Hannibal Lecter, I love it when a plan comes together. Put it on the comments if you know who that's what what show that's from. So yeah, thank you all for watching this video on making a new chicken feeder. And I think our next chicken project will be making new waters. So if y'all have any good designs for the watering system, <laughs> just put it down in the comments so we can check it out. But yeah, if y'all are new here and you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any more videos like this. Thank y'all for watching this video. Please share with your friends and we'll see y'all next time.